What is going on? We are back with another reaction video. We're gonna watch why you spend so much money at Costco. I wanna know why people are spending so much at Costco so I can decide whether I should get a Costco membership or not. The only thing I know is they keep the chicken way in the back and they sell it below profit because people are like, oh, the chicken's so cheap here, we should just go to Costco. And they make you eat all the free samples all the way to the back and we walk all the way through the perfect business model. They figured out the chi, the business chi, to get you to buy everything. Let's see if I'm right. Let's watch, okay. Costco. Costco. Now I am an executive member at the Costco. Berry berry with extra berries. We came for pumpkin pie, actually. And the king crab legs. I think some of their customer base is absolutely addicted to Costco. Hey, there's something to be said. The one thing I also know about Costco is inflation through the roof. The Costco CEO comes out and says, we're keeping the hot dogs the same price, $1.50 till I die. And for that, I respect it. I respect that. How they get you. That's how they get you, huh? Welcome to Costco, where everything Thanks. is huge. And it's been like this for 30 years. From the carts, to the warehouses, to the products themselves, it's a store fit for giants. It's designed as much for a forklift truck as it is for people. That sense of scale is part of what the Costco experience and the world. It is kind of genius that it's just a big warehouse. There's like nothing flashy about their store at all. It's like, hey, walk into this warehouse. We got a bunch of junk. You want it? And it's huge. If you can fit it in your car, you can have it. Warehouse experience is all about. And Costco has made billions in revenue from its no frills model. No frills, is that referring to the return policy? They do have a good return policy from what I know. And you gotta pay to go there. You have to have a membership. That's kind of crazy. Think about, they're just, they're doing something right. Let's see what's up. Nothing in a store is placed by accident. Mm. The chi. Take for instance, staples like milk and eggs. You have to travel all this way. <sighs> This leads to something Costco calls treasure hunting. The more you see, the more you discover, the more you end up putting in your cart. Look how large my brain is, just oozing out of my ears. Did you hear the knowledge that I dropped on you right before that? You wind up buying other things you probably don't really need. You almost have to go in with blinders on and walk <laughs> right past the things that you are tempted. New bird box challenge, hit Costco blindfolded. Let's see it, Sandra Bullock, where you at? To buy. But buying in bulk isn't for everyone. For me personally, it would be a waste of money to get a Costco membership because it's, I can't use up 25 pounds of flour or, you know, some- Her label was daughter of Costco members. What a title. Gat dang, what would I be? Jeez, member, uh, son of the Illuminati. Just kidding, just kidding. One of the really big bulk items. It just isn't worth it for me. The average Costco transaction is between $130 and $140, but members have been known to spend much more. I thought I would spend about $25, and I ended up spending over $700. $187.65. $221 and change. You can come in here and spend about $250. I cannot fathom being like, I'm gonna go to Costco, I need this $125 item, and then I spend over $700? almost blow a G in Costco, but she did get a pretty sweet, you know, gaming system hookup there, it looks like. What do you think she plays? Probably Minecraft. She seems like a Minecraft lady. $300, easy. They have a very easy. loyal membership base. 90% of their members renew their membership. Wow. Being I didn't even know BJ's had a membership. Comes at a price. The interesting thing about Costco is that when you speak to a consumer, they go quite frequently. I have spoken to people that go and drop in into a Costco three, four times a week. It is a very frictionless experience. Moving through a Costco is pretty seamless. There's minimal signage. Three or four times a week? What are you doing, hanging out there? Like, I know they really in with the free samples, but my goodness, geez, it's like, it's like hanging out at the mall or something where you also buy things at. Hmm. The aisles are super wide and the carts glide super. on the concrete floors. There are free samples and even the occasional massage demonstration. You're free, Never done that. encouraged to wander and take your time. 
I have so many memories of like being a kid with my sister, like running around the store playing tag or like hide and seek because it's so easy to hide in there. Now we have a secret hiding place. Hello. So my parents would leave me on the couch there and I'd like go through all the books. They'd come back to pick me up when it's time to leave. They'd come back like seven days later and be like, did you make it? Did you survive in here? Of course you did. It's so big. There's so many things. That'd be kind of an interesting experience. We've seen videos where people stay 24 hours in a store, but have has anybody ever left their kid in there for 24 hours? Leave your kid in Costco for 24 hours challenge? We might be onto something here. Costco could be the new daycare center. That's just a new revenue stream. Come on, come on. The longer I can hold you in the store, the more likely I'm going to get more money out of your pocket. I am a huge fan of the Costco food court and the food court. It was kind of savage. I only went to Costco with my parents just to go to the food court. That front snack bar is both a snack bar, but it is also $1.50. And it's a parking lot for your two-legged pets called often children and husbands. This right, is my favorite type of snack What is it? Like the big ones? Yeah. The big ones, right? And there's a direct correlation between people who sample and the amount of money you spend. This is true. Uh, what's it called? There's something called like the reciprocation of something where you, if you give somebody something for free before they purchase something or have the ability to purchase something, they're much more likely to spend more. So it's similar to when you go to a hotel or what's another place they'd give you something for free. Let's just say hotel. They give you the water bottles or like a cookie or something. They're essentially making you feel like you owe them something so you'll spend a little more. So with these free samples, it's free, but they're playing the mind game. Like, I just gave you this thing for free. Maybe you should spend a little more. Hmm? Dad, please buy me something. Aside from their famous $1.50 hot dog combo, yes. Costco is well known for its in-house brand, Kirkland Signature. True. Kirkland paper goods, bottled water, and olive oil are some of their most beloved products. But Costco isn't all bulk toilet paper and coffee beans. It also carries luxury items like this engagement ring that costs nearly $28,000. Costco. At first, Ooh. it seems asinine. Why on earth asinine. would Costco be selling diamonds? If you dig a little deeper, it actually makes sense. Costco's also built its franchise with an older American mm. affluent consumer. Mm. It is the baby boomer generation that has the money in their pockets and the incentive to save. That baby boomer generation controls the overwhelming majority of wealth in North America. And you know what? North going America? To be around for a while longer. Yeah, I believe that. Costco isn't just a store, it's an ecosystem. My mom's a master of Costco. She even bought curtains there. Your mom's a master of Costco and she bought curtains there? She needs a, a little bit more of a a broad, detailed uh, resume for me to start believing that she is the master of Costco. She's probably never even a hot dog in her life. Not one glizzy gobbled by your mother, I guarantee you. It gets gas there. She's embedded in the whole Costco ecosystem. The most loyal consumers have been dedicating more and more share of wallet towards Costco. So they might have started with household goods, and then they went into groceries, then they started buying appliances. Hell of an animation. You know, they were getting all of their furniture from Costco. And now you see a lot of people also participating in their car and hotel programs, for instance. If I think about why people keep coming back to Costco, there are three things that are part of who they are as a brand that is very well known, which is value, quality, and consistency. The Costco. You save money. Looking like a boss though, head to toe Costco. Costco is wonderful. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of Costco, even though I don't have a membership. Who wouldn't want to go to Costco and buy like 40 pounds of steak at once, right? Like why, why not buy in bulk? Why not just grocery shop one time a year? January 1st, New Year's, new resolution, don't grocery shop other than one time and just buy in bulk for the year. Just drop like six or 7K. If you're already spending 700 to get an entertainment system, gaming system, you're only like $5,300 away. It's basically a no brainer. It's a deal. Members love Costco for their cheap, high quality products, like peanut butter. For New Yorkers, peanut butter. it's clearly a better deal to shop at Costco. And mm. Let's not forget about the wine. 
My favorite part of the Costco experience is probably their wine section, which I know sounds a little weird. Costco, it does obviously have some really great, beautiful, expensive- Music in the background makes me feel like something bad's gonna happen to her. Wines. But it also gives you a lot of value-friendly wines, which are really, really nice. Costco is the largest seller of fine wine and expensive spirits in North America. They make North money America. you to buy 200 garbage bags all at the same time. They make money getting you to buy 10 pounds of coffee. I actually have that. But stocking all those garbage bags isn't free. So how is Costco making a profit selling wholesale goods? Costco runs about 4,000 items on average per warehouse, which allows them to be extremely efficient. Employees don't waste time restocking shelves because of the store's design. The other upside of having such a curated assortment of fast selling items shows up in their balance sheet. They're able typically to sell their inventory before they actually have to pay it, which keeps the needs for working wow. capital pretty low. Amazing. They have direct relationships with all of their suppliers and then have a logistics set up where they- Where are the heads on those chickens? To their warehouse. So that keeps the SGNA at a very minimum level. Costco plays by the That's crazy. rule. You treat your suppliers and employees well, mm -hmm. they treat the customer well, mm -hmm. and you make tons of money. All adds up to me. You know, all these other companies treating their Amazon, pff, making their employees pee in bottles. That's the Costco secret. I'm missing out. Big secret. So how does this model hold up in the age of Amazon? The surgeons of Amazon has not hurt Costco's business. And there are many consumer tests or retail tests out there that compare if you buy in bulk at Amazon versus buying in bulk at Costco, where do you get the best deal? Mm -hmm. 70 to 80% of the time, you're still getting the best deal at Costco. Nice. Almost all major big box merchants have some form of online presence. Having some form of physical place for us to be able to do our drive-by and pick something up is going to be part of our consuming future for at least the next 50 years. Wow. It seems Costco nailed the formula when it opened 30 years ago, but it isn't perfect. The CEO actually makes the hot dogs out of human. It's human meat. Costco has been traditionally a leader in looking at how to improve the sustainability of their supply chains. They actually have done a great job at leading the way towards sustainable seafood. And I know we're working currently on uh, sustainable beef, uh, among other things. Beef. One of the things that they could be doing to improve their performance is r respond to one of the most pressing issues of the moment, which is how to reduce our plastic use and plastic waste globally. So anything they could do to, to uh, improve their packaging or improve their their alternative offerings to help customers eliminate the use of macaroni with great. the chicken Despite strips. The criticism, Costco members remain loyal for one simple reason. Everyone loves a good deal. Are you a Costco shopper? <laughs> Are you a Costco shopper? Everybody does love a good deal. You know what's a good deal? Hitting the subscribe button and liking and leaving a comment of what your favorite thing to buy from Costco is. Anyway. That's been the reaction video. I hope you enjoyed. Love you. You got purpose and I'll see you in the next one.